The new year has come. Last year you said you would change. Will you repeat the same lie again, or will you stick to the process and get what you want? Because if you want something you never had, you have to do something you've never done. It's time for you to make a change and become unrecognizable this 2024. Let me show you how. Let me be honest with you, the steps that I present to you will not be easy. It will require much effort and willpower, but in order to truly change this year, you have to give it everything you have. I'm fully convinced that if you actually follow all the steps and practices daily, you will become unrecognizable. I will break it down into two sections. First, we will cover the fundamentals that everybody knows but most can't implement. They are simple to understand but hard to execute. Then we will go deeper into advanced techniques that will help you to be consistent and to stop procrastinating the necessary actions. But a word of call don't fool yourself into thinking you can jump from 0 to 100. You will stumble, feel lazy, or even struggle to show up. The key? Start small. Ridiculously small. The crucial part is to initiate the habit with the tiniest action. The focus should lie on showing up first instead of perfecting it straight away. This can be any kind of exercise. It really just depends on what you have access to and your body type. If you don't have access to a gym, there's always calisthenics. It also depends on what your goal is. You could be bulking, cutting, or maintaining, which is what I'm doing. Generally, you should work out three to four days of weightlifting or body weight exercises, and then plus another two days for cardio. And if you're cutting, you want to do more cardio. And you have to know if you want to build muscle mass or muscle endurance. For muscle mass, do higher weight, lower reps. For muscle endurance, do lower weight, higher reps. Personally, what I do is calisthenics because it's easier for me. I can do it anywhere I want, and I also like it more. You also got to find a split that works for you to target every muscle group. I recommend either push-pull legs or chest, back, arms, and legs. When making a change physically, your diet and exercise are top tier. If you do exercise without having a good diet, it's basically pointless. You know what they say, abs are made in the kitchen. There's a lot of controversy what the best diet is, but from what I've heard, it's carnivore or vegan diets. Whatever way you eat, just make sure you're getting all the vitamins and minerals you need. Definitely no alcohol, no junk food, no fast food. Ultimately, what I follow is high protein, no added sugar, low carbs, low sodium but it really depends on what you're doing. If you're cutting, low calories. If you're bulking, high calories. Because if you're cutting, you need a calorie deficit. And don't chase the taste of good food. You should only be eating food for its fuel, not its flavor. Reading allows you to gain knowledge and level up your mind, so it's definitely very important. You should be reading non-fiction books to gain the most knowledge. Some topics in non-fiction would be like philosophy, psychology, economy, and your health. What I'm reading right now is The 48 Laws of Power, it's a psychology book, and when I'm done, I'm going to read Atomic Habits, which is basically for your health. Check the link in the description, I'll put some great non-fiction books for you to read. But when you're reading non-fiction books, you need to know how to read. I know you get the feeling when you start a book, you have to finish it, but when you're reading non-fiction books, you should only read to what you need. You should skip around and find only what you are looking for. And in my opinion, physical books are better, but reading digitally is more efficient. When I'm done with those two books, I'm going to be reading on this Kindle. It saves you time because you don't have to look for the book you want. You don't have to turn your whole body around when you're flipping a page. I hate when that happens. It's also easier to carry around everywhere. If you take books on vacation like me, you will probably spill water on your book and destroy it. The Japanese term Kaizen means to change for the better or continuous improvement. And this is what everyone should go for. You should just be improving 1% every day. Just imagine how far you could go if you just improve 1% a day. If you improve every day, it can be so beneficial. You can learn valuable skills, and skills can be important in any situation. It could also lead to a job in the future that interests you. Like a skill for me that I'm working on still is I'm working on talking to this camera. I improve it every day, every time I record a video. And eventually it will lead to me becoming a bigger YouTuber. You should be improving in something you're passionate about or that you know will benefit you in some way. Like I'm passionate for being a YouTuber and that's why I'm practicing talking to the camera. All these negative things that you do waste all your time of, all this time that you could be achieving your goals. Do you ever wonder where all the time goes? It most likely goes into all your social media time, all your scrolling on TikTok, on Instagram, even if it's something that takes up like five minutes of your day. Because if you do it every day for five minutes, I'm not a calculator, but that'll be like, 
that'll be around 1800 minutes i'm pretty sure 1800 minutes in a whole year just gone to waste think about how much you could do in 1800 minutes if tiktok is wasting your time cut it out if playing video games is wasting your time cut it out if watching tv is wasting your time cut it out you don't need it i used to watch tiktok and instagram for several hours every single day like five or six hours every single day then i realized how bad it really is for me I started putting those time limitations on but it, it really wouldn't help that much i would just ignore it every time so what i finally decided to do is delete the app deleting tiktok TikTok and Instagram helped me so much and I'm so grateful I did that. Time is our single most valuable non-renewable source. So like I said earlier, do not waste your time. Your time here is limited and time management will help you use your time intentionally and effectively. What I do is I write down what I need to do tomorrow and then the next day I look back and plan out my day accordingly on Google Calendar. I'll leave the link to that in the description as well. This helps me stay on track and it reminds me of what I need to do. And if you are still struggling to stick to your schedules, you should set timers for everything you need to do. Only if you're struggling. Win your days. Think of a timeline. People think there's a past present and future but you're really always in the present when you're thinking of the past and future you're thinking in the present so every daily win will lead to weekly wins which will lead to monthly wins and will lead to yearly wins and then you won the whole year i mean long-term goals are great and i'm all for it but you should accomplish your long-term goals in tiny steps so just focus on your days you need to change your mindset from a fixed to a growth mindset. People who have fixed mindsets believe the people who make it are just born that way. That they are successful just because they are lucky and talented. You need to get rid of this mindset. You need to realize that you can achieve anything if you put the time in and give it your all. Hard work beats talent every single time. Don't blame your external circumstances for your problems. Lots of the people you know who made it were once poor or once hated and we're even homeless. That's why you need to take up the responsibility for everything you do. Then when everything is your responsibility, you can truly change. You will have no excuses. Everyone knows that one dude on New Year's Eve that tells everyone what he's going to do, what he's going to achieve, and how he's going to feel after doing all this. And a month goes by and he hasn't done anything. You can't help but roll your eyes at him. Sharing your goals is a psychological trap and it makes you less likely to pursue the desire you have. When you tell other people your goals, you put yourself under social pressure to achieve them. And this will lead to stress and anxiety, making it even more difficult to achieve. So stay silent and work in the shadows. The pain of not doing the hard work must be worse than doing the hard work. Let me explain. Let's say you want to build a lot of muscle and be healthy, but you just can't get yourself to get off the couch, go to the gym, and eat healthy. Then what I would do is think about my future. I like to think what if. What if I don't work out now? What if I don't eat healthy right now? How am I going to look in five years? Terrible. And whenever you struggle with something you have to do, but you don't want to do, always imagine the horrible future that awaits you if you procrastinate, and the great future that awaits you if you don't. Lock in and trust the process.